Hello and welcome to the space. Today we are talking about feeling the feelings and making it natural, especially the feelings that we haven't felt before, that we don't know how they would feel if we were to experience those circumstances or events. We know that feeling is the secret when it comes to successful manifesting but not only feeling things, but also making those feelings so natural because you may be so successful in seeing things with your mind's eye that, you know, the, the surface of the couch and how it will feel when you touch it or the smell of the, you know, the, the sea or the taste of the drink that you would be you know drinking if you were to experience that circumstances or how the, the feeling would be like to hold that pen and then you know um, sign that contract for the apartment or the job that you're looking for you may be very a visual person and you may not have any problem like visualizing the certain things and but you may still have problems feeling it. How it would really make me feel if I were to be there holding the hand of my lover or holding the key to my dream apartment, how I would feel, like, you know, and how I could make it natural. So in this video, we're gonna dive deep into this topic and I will give you very down to earth examples, examples that you can use it, start using it immediately without even leaving your chair. So stay tuned. Even if you know how to properly visualize, like, you know, you need to see yourself as from that you know the from the from the eyes of the from seeing this reality from your eyes but not seeing yourself let's say walking on the beach to your next holiday destination but actually seeing this holiday destination from your own eyes like if you're walking by the beach not seeing yourself walking by the beach but when you look down, see, seeing your feet on the ground or by the beach on the sand and feeling the sand and feeling the sun up high, feeling the heat and everything. So probably you know that and you know how to probably visualize if you don't. Uh, it's a topic for another video where I will, uh, if you really want me to focus on how to properly visualize, you can always drop a comment. Um, so I can talk about it in the next videos but today we will talk about the feeling and how to make it natural you know even if you know how to properly visualize you may still um, even if you like see your feet on the ground or on the you know, on the sand and feel the breeze on your skin or the warmth of the you know the salty water coming to your feet it may still feel like it's kind of like a distant uh, memory or something that feels like too good to be true. It, even if you see your own feet, it, you may still feel it in your heart that it's happening to something else or it's like, yeah, it's so nice. It could be so nice. Wouldn't it be so nice if I were to walk on the sand of my, you know, the beach of Bali or something like that but the still you may not feel the naturalness of that feeling so without feeling it naturally happening to you you will still meaning that you're still even if all the techniques about the visualization that you're doing correctly you will still put your manifestations on a pedestal and you will still be here on a vibrational level and the vibration of your next holiday destination and how it will make you feel will still be here so it's not going to be natural for you and if it's not natural for you if you can't feel it naturally happening to you you see, if it still feels like oh wouldn't it be nice oh it's too good to be true then you're still having this gap and basically why we use the technique of visualization is to close that gap and why we're trying to bring up all these emotions like seeing and touching and feeling it and tasting it 
is to make it natural. These are just a tool, these are just the techniques, but the main idea behind visualization and trying to conjure up as much as feelings as possible is to actually close that gap of like feeling it natural. Okay, so here comes the cure and this will be a cure to make it natural and also it, it is a cure for you um, to visualize it easily if you have some problems like, you know, if, if you are not a visual person and if it's harder for you to um, put yourself in circumstances or situations or holiday destinations that you have never been to, if it is hard for you, then this will be also a cure for that. But mostly it is going to be a cure for making it natural so imagine like I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the outside and I see the next building and when I close my eyes it will be so easy for me to see what I have just seen seconds ago which is the next building which is the positioning of the Sun and the light and I'm just sitting here and I see my like you know legs and when I close my eyes and I put my hands on my legs and when I close my eyes it will be so easy for me to remember the positioning on my on my hand on my uh, on my legs and all so it will be so easy for me so by using the leverage of this technique to make it so easy to visualize when I close my eyes with my mind's eyes where I have where I am and what I have just seen like seconds ago by using the leverage of this we will try to conjure up not try we will just conjure up the feeling of the naturalness of the things that we want to manifest as well so imagine yourself you're looking by the window of your own home you will probably uh, there will be no surprises most probably because um, you will know you know you, the the scenery from out or out from your window because that probably is the window that you look out like multiple times a day and imagine yourself holding your morning coffee or your tea or your evening I don't know like um, relaxing thing on your hand depending on the time that you're visualizing yourself and just you're by the window and you're holding your morning tea or your evening relaxing tea and then you just close your eyes and try to and just conjure up those feelings you know that you already signed a contract of your dream apartment you've already signed the contract um, for the dream the job that you wanted to have and you already secured it or you're already um, in the relationship that you desire yourself to be in your or you're already in the partnership that you've resolved all your problems or your things that you want that you want to see happening or the um, improvements or you already have the car maybe you can even see it parking in your in the spot outside of your window or you already come back from this amazing holiday that you have had you know and imagine yourself how would you feel if it were already happened and true you're all ready and you come back to your own home like you know imagine that you uh, signed the contract of your apartment for your new apartment but you're already in your old apartment you're about to leave you're just gonna you have to get prepared soon to take off you know how would you feel If it were true at this moment you will feel relaxed you will feel so excited you will already get into almost like get into the next step of your manifesting next level of your manifesting you already signed the contract what are you what would you be thinking at this moment if you already signed that contract if you already passed that step which was like which you probably put on a pedestal and Imagine if you you've already passed that critical turning point and it's already gone past done and you would have this huge relief. <sighs> it's gone now, it's done now. I have done it. It 
just look at the outside, see the kids playing or the wind blowing the flags outside or you see the sea, you see the water, you see the trees, you see the birds flying. You've been in the spot like a week ago and you were devastated, you were frustrated but now you're there holding your mug in your hand and you have done it. You've done it. How would it feel like? And the, you know, the, the thing is, the, our mind is so, how can I say? You know, the Buddhists call it like the monkey, monkey mind. It just jumps onto the next thing. It just jumps onto the other thing. You would probably be thinking if you already had that dream job you wanted to have and you already signed the contract, you already secured that opportunity, then you would probably be thinking, uh, what should I wear in the first morning to the office? Or I should check the Google Maps maybe to see the best possible route in the Monday morning. Or, um, you know, they. I hope they have good places to eat during lunch breaks. You would probably be thinking about the next and the next and the next so I call it like the next level manifesting meaning like you already passed that critical point because probably it, it might for some people it might be harder to imagine and feel how it would feel like the exact moment that you transition from jobless to having job from being homeless like a being a tenant to the owner the, you know the being the owner of an apartment so it might be harder for you to imagine this exact moment of transitioning and how you would feel like the excitement you know it might be harder for us to imagine that ex ecstatic moment that's why it will be easier for us to imagine the naturalness of having that opportunity a week later maybe you know when you get your when you get this apartment contract you will probably uh, when it when it becomes like natural for you you will probably put the apartment like you know the card key um, to your pocket or the keys by the next door by the you know the table next door when you get into your apartment so or like seeing your co cat or dog like welcoming you in your new apartment so imagining those like daily very down-to-earth like very normal natural things would make it uh, even more natural for us to imagine and make visualization because and, and the thing here is like we as human beings and with our beautiful brilliant minds we think that if I cannot you know make myself so excited then I will be missing something, but that doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Feeling the naturalness of living and staying in an apartment will still, is still going to be enough for universe to create and orchestrate and organize all these synchronicities in your life. So just because you're not feeling like overly happy or ecstatically happy doesn't mean that your manifestation is not on the go you know it's not like something is like stuck there I just have to be more happy to make it happen there is no such a thing that way the key point is to make it natural to feel the naturalness of your manifestation how would I feel if I already got that um, car that I want to have? I will just look outside and see my car parking there and it will be so natural for me to put the car key um, in my pocket, you know, when I get back home or whatever it is. It just imagine how would you naturally feel if you already be in that desired partnership or relationship that you want to have how would it feel like how would it feel like to secure 
that job opportunity that you always wanted to have you would feel ah oh, finally I'm so grateful for that to happen now it has already happened it's just done it's here it still may not feel so natural you may still feel this awe and amazement I just can't believe that it happened to me but you know that it happened to you it happened to you if you like this video and if this video helped in some way make a shift in your consciousness or if you felt like oh it just you know something has just clicked or aha uh -huh moments if you've experienced while watching this video then I um, would like to go and check the link below actually that offer has started during my birthday season I decided that I will give I will offer free coaching sessions for the five minutes to people who are interested but then I decided to extend this offer until next notice so if you are interested to work with me about your unique circumstances just check um, and make your you know just schedule your call by using the link below for our free session coaching session to work with me and I'll see you inside or I'll see you in the next video take care